All right, here we go. So um, this is the new Vive Free. Uh, Vive Free is the second generation developer kit. So not the consumer ID. The key story here is that we've done a lot of we've had a lot of things. Before the first step kit, rather than waiting for the consumer to be able to work with the rights of the developers are going to be able to do um, and so we decided to build a second generation of uh, that kit. You'll notice some things are off the bat. It's a little bit off the bat. This is what closer to your face. You know, weight is very similar to the other one, so it's not necessarily weight saving. So whereas it's closer to your face, it does feel like that. Uh, the new strap here, uh, it's the same with kind of three adjustable areas, except this one's just a lot easier to use. Uh, we also have a little kind of a cradle in the back that sits around the back of the bed, so it allows to distribute the weight a lot better. Um, you know, kind of working in the side. Yeah, um, it's overall more polished. Yeah, more polished. Um, you've got inside, you've got an interchangeable uh, face gasket. So you got a wide and narrow uh, interchangeable face gasket. Um, and and it's, it's still got some kind of more of a perspective more so. More of a perspective. I clearly would love to accommodate this work, but it just makes a hit for the goal. It's really the best that I can try to accommodate. And these actually fit much better on the Okay, and I see this nice one. Yeah, we'll slip more here. So, because a lot of people are getting that pressure on the side, so this helps. And you also can't see this when it's you know, over your head, so it doesn't let any light in. But the monitor can be moved. Take away from that experience. Still have the IPD and eye relief adjustment. It's IPD distance. So, the eyes and eye relief distance from the eyes to the actual one. Um, we got a uh, proximity sensor here, so it turns on this way. Do it, Jason. We've done some things with the new displays, so we can do our eye displays, okay. um, which leads to, you know, higher standards. It also has a uh, point for our correction. You won't see that in the rest of these problems, I'll tell you about. Merv correction is uh, something that plays a part in the new display system. And so uh, some people refer to it as like a linen like quality. So for in VR, you're looking at something really not. It almost looks like some place like a thin sheet of linen, which I even need to make sure you have that. Or you're just so weird. It looks like you're looking through something, like you're looking through a lens that doesn't come together super clean. And so it's huge advancement. So basically, that comment from my own as well as some software for other things that we're doing, um, we're able to actually improve the visual clarity. We also have a third piece of camera, which are called the Yeah, yeah. Um, so this, this yeah. Yeah, allows you to bring objects from the real world into the virtual world, too, without being in the yeah, you know, taking a seat. So I'll let you take a seat in the chair when we get a set on. But it's pretty cool. It's going to be different than probably what you're expecting. Much more balanced than the end. Um, system button here. So this is a certain point on it. So you do something with this button. Uh, this button. I think it's just, I don't know what I have to do. Probably a bit of it. And the new button. This can be, you know, obviously, all these are up to the top. So you can use them whatever they want. Um, we also have a new dual stage trigger. So just like the same controller, dual stage trigger. Um, a new haptic feedback. Actually, there's a haptic side of the whole thing. So I'm giving you kind of a vital thing. Right. I mean, if someone hands you something that feels much more precise, I don't know if you've the first thing. Um, um, is it you that basically ever is where you're actually on the first thing you're trying to talk about? Okay. So you're just partly walking across the ladder. And you've got these carabiner type climbing things that are on these ropes. And you're kind of holding on to the ice as you go across the ladder. And you're trying to do that. Okay. 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 So, a uh, new sensor array up here. A combination of new sensors here and new base stations. Right, so, I think I'm going to try to do more. Um, I don't think people are going to notice the loss of the way, because that's definitely better check. I noticed the base station, I was going to say, I don't look like laser events. You know, yeah, we've got to dumb that down a little bit. You know, it's, it's much more. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're kind of, it looks like a satellite. Right, so they're now included. I have no idea. There's new motor inside, so it's much more.
we'll do first. You've, you've done the demo a couple of times, all right? Okay, cool. So uh, everything we're showing today, you probably already seen. Okay. Um, and maybe to expedite you over to Dan, we'll always look into it. We'll go through the new chaperones. Talk about the camera stuff. It'll show you. That's where you'll probably just initially short, very vibrant, uh, see if you notice there's some increasing the visual fidelity there. Okay. I kind of weird with Trump fidelity sometimes. Is that a solution? It's sharp, it's sharp, it's clear. I mean, the people don't understand that, like, like with 3D, you have a visual quality. You know, like, yeah, I'm like, so, like, it's, it's, it's just visual quality. I have to be careful sometimes. People are like, I mean, they don't take a I'm going to stop that as soon as I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure.